Yeah, fitness still coming along. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I think the semi-finals of the the premiership. So um, back in the back in the full swings now of uh, back into a program. So uh, yeah, I think there's a bit of work to do, but um, yeah, I'm excited for it. Do you like the game before the game well? Um, I mean, I, I don't mind. I think I've, I've played enough rugby now to be able to kind of get back out there um, when I'm ready. So obviously it's up to the selectors, but I'll be putting my best foot forward, um, that's for sure. What were your first thoughts when you saw the jersey? Yeah, pretty cool. Like, it's um, yeah, amazing. Great artwork by uh, Dennis. He's, it's obviously a, you know, um, a very special symbol that uh, you know, recognises you know, all, the, all the 14 players that, uh, that have played in the Wallaby jersey. So... You know, for me to stand here now and, and, and uh, you know, display it to, to the public and, um, you know, it's a very, very uh, special feeling and, and I'm very honoured to do so. What would it mean to you to wear that um, in the match, given the competition? Um, just the emotion you described yeah. how much it means to you? Yeah, no, it would be an unbelievable, uh, you know, it would be unbelievable just, just because it's, you know, like I said, I'm a very proud Indigenous man and... Now that we've got you know a, a, a jersey that recognises our culture and, and, and the 14 players that have that have played our game, it's, it's uh, you know it holds a close spot to my heart, and, and I know that it's uh, you know it, it's very important for a lot of our families that have kind of supported us along the way in, in, in the Wallaby jersey. So uh, you know it'd be awesome to be able to get out there and experience it with the rest of my teammates. I know a lot of them are, are very excited uh, about to, about the jersey, and uh, uh, you know it's, it'll be um, you know it'll be a very special one. That's for sure. What sort of Indigenous idols growing up? Uh, there, there's, been a, there's been a lot of uh, Indigenous idols along the way, either codes. Um, I think that there's some freakish talents out there along the way. Um, I think, uh, you know, for our game, I've really looked up to the Ella brothers. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think one, one, one special one that I kind of relate to is Andrew Walker. He was pretty deadly in, in the way he kind of played the game. So, so I'll have to say those guys. Touched on this yeah, probably. Yeah. You know, I've got a lot of passion for, for, for either codes. Um, but, um, you know, obviously the opportunity came my way to be able to play rugby union. And, you know, it's, it's a great game. It's given me a lot of, uh, a lot of joy, um, a lot of good experiences. So, you know, with that in mind, uh, I think it's, you know, it's a great game for a lot of these young Indigenous to be able to open their eyes and see the world because that's what rugby is it's a world game it's, it's played at the, the highest level all over the world and in, 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 in numerous countries so you know, I've had the, the opportunity to do that and uh, you know I, I think it would be very special for young indigenous kids to aspire to yeah it's obviously something that I'm that, I, that I'm very passionate about to be able to influence young indigenous kids um, not just indigenous but also you know non-indigenous as well it's, I think it's we're in a uh, professional athletes are in a, you know, a very uh, special special role in the, in the, in, the, in the world, and we, we've got responsibilities and to be able to you know, inspire and uh, you know I guess advise and, and um, mentor these kids. Uh, I think it's just a, it's, it's something that we we've got to do, and um, you know, being indigenous it, just, it makes it extra important. Curly, yeah. things are pretty grim in Aussie rugby, man. How have you seen things from afar? Yeah, it's obviously some tough times. Uh, I think there's a, a bit of a bit of a, a transition period at the moment but obviously a lot of these young kids and uh, are kind of being exposed at this level and I think that uh, you know it's going to be, 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 be good for us so um, you know, I think time will, time will tell and it, it, that'll definitely help us you know in the years ahead. What about the prospect of playing with Semo Grevy in the centre? Yeah obviously you know Semo Sammy's a you know exciting player uh, you know I'm not quite sure how the combinations are there but I, I think we've got a lot of a lot of great players in, in those positions and Whoever, I guess, gets the opportunities, uh, you know, they'll definitely do a good job for us. But, uh, you know, I think now that Carmack is there as well, uh, you know, you've got Izzy that can play 13 as well, so through a drani. So, like, we've got some some great talent in, in those positions. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of uh, looking forward to kind of battling it out with those guys and, and, and I guess, helping each other to kind of push for, you know, a, you know, hopefully a successful first game. Yeah, he's obviously. Obviously, come off with Hunt's, uh, you know, pretty special talent. He's been around for a while. Uh, he's got the experience of, uh, you know, either codes, and um, you know, I think that's definitely helping him, um, you know, evolve in our game. That's for sure. So, he's obviously, very, very, very uh, you know, talented player with a lot of good skill, and uh, I think his defence is 
is um, is pretty pretty uh, pretty special. So um, you know, I think he's doing some really good things for for us, and um, you know, I'm looking forward to maybe you know learning learning a lot about the game and learning of, of each other, bouncing ideas off each other because uh, you know. If we can all, if we can all do that, that that's going to help us in, in good stead for game one. How do the Warriors feel disappointing into a disappointing season? How do you see where they're at and the challenge of rejoining them next year? Yeah, I, like I said, I think I feel like there's a lot of young guys being exposed at this level now, and I think you know, by getting experience uh, through a full season, uh, it, that's definitely going to help us, you know, in the next few years. So. Bit of a transition period, I think. Uh, a lot of these kids are learning a lot about the game, learning a lot about how we can grow and, and uh, be better um, in the following years. And no doubt this season, uh, you know, there's, there'll be a lot of lot of learning experiences. So you now I'm looking forward to getting back and, and getting back to the Tars and, and uh, I guess you know, helping these young kids and um, just adding to to the squad. It's obviously a great squad there with a lot of talent. So um, you know, I'm, I'm very excited to be back. I think so. I think, but also there's a lot of. I think there'll be a big role with a lot of the senior guys there who, who can who can certainly kind of help um, pave, pave the way there. So uh, it's, it's certainly something that we can all kind of get around together and, and um, you know, get a plan together and really attack next year. <laughs> I'm Tom. Is there on the field different than last year? Are you going to take the game from this level? Yeah, I feel so. I still feel like I'm going to get my knee, uh, my leg. I've lost a lot of muscle in that in that in that leg and. Um, it's a bit of a slow process getting that muscle back, but um, I learnt a lot about about uh, playing in certain conditions. That's for sure. Uh, the European rugby is exposed to you know all four seasons. That's for sure. So it's it's um you know yeah definitely. I, I feel like I've definitely grown in, 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 in uh, with my knowledge in the game. Um, you know, I learnt a lot of, of, of the coaching up there. I learned a lot of, of, of the guys next to me, um, picking their brains and, and how to play the game. Obviously. Kicking game is very important um, at, at, at test level, and certainly I, I was very able. Uh, I was very much involved in, 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 in growing that part of my game. Up in Europe. The war dance, Kelly. Were you expecting that? Yeah, no, I wasn't. Uh, but that was pretty cool. Like I, I've never. I, I, I was. I was. A, I was a dancer when I was younger, and I kind of went away from it. But that's definitely kind of um, flicked the flicked the ticker a bit to kind of get back involved with it because it is special. It's it's. Like I showed a bit of emotion there because it's just, it, 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 it just touches you and it's, it's very spirited. Like it gives you a bit of a, a bit of a kick there. So I'll definitely be uh, trying to uh, get into um, some type of dance class, um, you know, or, or some dance group. That's for sure. Maybe a bit, bit down, a bit down the line. Comfortable expressing uh, the pride in your heritage and that in the, within the Wallabies ranks. Do you, do you remember? That? Um, I think when I see a lot of the, um, the see the other codes kind of have an indigenous round, um, and uh, and I can just see the reaction from the indigenous communities when when uh, you know when, when indigenous round is 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 is, is, uh, is up and it's just, it's always a special day. You see the welcome the country, the smoking ceremonies, the dances out on the field. Like I said, I showed a bit of emotion before, and when these guys are up here dancing, it's just, it's, it's it's a very powerful thing, and uh, that that's when I really try and put my foot forward to, to try and um, get the AOU behind it and the, the idea, and um, you know, I'm just thankful and, and very glad that we we've, we've come we've come to it and we've, we're able to do it, and and uh, you know, hopefully, looking forward to continuing that um, in the years to come.